Number 78. What volume of a 0.0105 molar HBr solution is required to titrate 125 mils of a 0.01 molarity calcium hydroxide, which is CaOH2 solution? And then they give us a nice little formula. Now, if you know me, right, chances are you're going to be like, okay, Christina's going to write the formula again. But there's a trick here. And I want to show you guys the trick. Now, I love titration problems, especially when I know that I'm titrating an acid with the base. And in this case, I do have an acid and I do have a base. We've done tons of problems talking about acids and bases. So if you need a refresher, just go back to, I believe it's this chapter. So just go back to the playlist in chapter four and we'll do acids and bases there. Ha. However, you know, we have HBr and I know that HBr is an acid, right? It's one of our strong acids. And calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, is one of our strong bases. So I have an acid, I have a base. They're telling me that I'm titrating them. Basically, I'm like mixing the two together to get a salt and water, right? That's what happens when acid-base reactions come together. So we can go back to our molarity formula, and I want to show you it. It's right here. This is the formula that you're going to be using, the shortcut version of titrations between acids and bases, right? A for acids, B for bases. Okay, so let's just write that down. A for acids, so this is the acid category, and I put everything in red because usually reds are acids, and then B for bases. And we already said who was which, right? HBr is the acid, and CaOH2 is the base. Now, just like before, when we did like M1V1 equals M2V2, you could say the molarity times the volume of the acid will equal the molarity and the volume, you know, molarity times the volume of the base. However, there's a little catch. You just have to multiply the acid component by the number of H pluses that you see in the compound. And then the same for the base. The base has the OH, and you're just going to multiply by how many OHs you see in your base. So let's just read the question again and just put down what we need and what we're solving for. So it says, what volume of 0 0.0105 molarity HBr? So I know the molarity. I know what this number is, right? So this is going to be 0 0.0105 molarity. And they're asking for the volume. So I'm basically looking for this number, right? X. Now I'm titrating it with the base. And the base they told me was 125 mils. That's a volume. So 125 mils. And the molarity is this number. So maybe I'll just put that up here. 0 0.0100 molarity. OK. Now, let's just say how many H pluses we have and how many OH minuses we have. In HBr, do you see how you only have one H in HBr? So in this case, I only have one H plus. And then coming over to CaOH2, here's my OH, but I have two of them. So I have two OH minuses. So this would be multiplied by one, and this side would be multiplied by two. Let's plug it in. So I'm going to start from left to right. I'm going to show you that we're going to multiply it by 1, H plus. And then the molarity is 0 0.0105 times X equals, now the base side. The molarity is 0 0.0100. The volume is 125. And we're just going to multiply that by 2 for the two OHs. OK. Now I just want to point out here, guys, that when you're using MAVA, equals MBVV, just like M1V1 equals M2V2, it does not matter if your volume is in milliliters. You can keep the mils in this equation. You don't have to convert to liters. So let's just solve it out. This whole side would just be 0.0105x equals, let's just multiply the other side, 0.01 times 125 times 2. I get 2.5. And then solve for x. So divide by 0 0.0105, 0 0.0105, and there we go. X equals 
2.5 divided by 0 0.105. 105 and I get 238.1 right now if I just look back and if we drew in sig figs which I really don't care about sig figs but you have the lowest number of three sig figs in these three numbers so my answer should have three sig figs so I'm going to cut off that 0.1 and now it's 238 mils of the acid the HBr and that is it, guys. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you wanted to do this the stoichiom you know, the stoichiometric way by using the balanced equation, you would get the same answer. I just think that this formula is easier. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if it did help you out. And subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.